Hello guys, Cameron here from Quickshot Films, and today I'm gonna give you the second part of this two-part series thing on how to how I made my uh my last little video. Um, it was a test video, and I did a shock boom sort of effect and a uh, ragdoll effect. The link will be on the screen now if you want to watch the video. It's just very short. Um, but yeah. Anyway, today I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, ragdoll the ragdoll part of it. Uh, if you want to watch the previous episode, link will be on screen now as well, uh, and in the description. But to get started with this effect, you'll want to get a um, a video of you just flying into ragdoll mode somehow. Um, so yeah, for me, I did what you'd be seeing now. Uh, so yeah, uh, once you've got a clip like that, just drag that into your timeline, and click yes to that if that pops up. And then delete your audio, because unless you want your audio, <laughs> but I don't. And we're pretty much going to be working with still images anyway, so yeah. So you want to find the part where you go into Ragdoll. I'm just going to, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to have myself jumping into Ragdoll, even though that's not how it was in the video. But because in the video I just had a still frame and I just animated like me myself in the whole video. I didn't have any live footage in the final <laughs> in the final video. But anyway, so I'm gonna be running and then jump into Ragdoll down fly out. Ah, so that's how this is gonna work this time. So anyway, find the frame where you are about to go into Ragdoll. So like here. And then go to preview and save frame and save a copy of that. Just name it whatever you want. I'll name mine uh, Ragdoll. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And hit OK. And now go and go ahead and split that. And then find an empty frame in your shot. So, like that. I just want to get one early. And then I'll save that as a. Good. And now that I have that, I'll delete the rest of that clip. So now I just have me running up and jumping into the car. <laughs> okay. And I'll insert my blank frame at the end of that because that's we're gonna animate the character over that frame, and he's gonna yeah, break the like. So anyway. Uh, you should have these two frames, your, the picture of you about to go into Ragdoll and your blank one. Uh, what you want to go and do now is cut out each body part of yourself in that one freeze frame that you took. Um, of this, of like the position just before you went into Ragdoll. you got to cut out every body part that you see in that uh, still image. So um, I'll quickly show you how to do this, I just need to load up again. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've got GIMP loaded, just import your picture. GIMP's a free image editing software that I highly recommend. I use it in a lot of my videos. Uh, link will be in the description to where you can download it. Uh, so yeah, so uh, to zoom in, hold Control and uh, scroll wheel. And once you've zoomed in, select this tool up here, uh, free select tool. And then select around your first body part. I'm just going to do this arm. I uh, usually I do. Uh, each arm individually, each leg individually, then I do the body and the head together. So I'm just going to cut around this arm. Then once you cut around the arm, hit Control c to copy it. Then go edit, paste as new image. Then you'll have your cut out arm and then go file, uh, export, and export that as arm 1. And choose where you're going to save it. So I'm going to save mine in videos, project files. Shot boom, and then I'll just save that there. And then I'll put compression level down to zero so it doesn't compress it at all. And then do that. Okay, so now you want to go around all your other body parts. I'm just going to quickly do this arm on camera, then I'll go do the rest off. So just tap with your mouse to go around each point, and then go control C, edit, paste as, new image, and then go file. Export and arm um, two, and then I'll go export. 
and save that and uh, right now I'll go around all the other body parts so I'll be right back okay so once you've done that you should have five body parts I have two arms two legs and my body so uh, and then you want to create five video tracks so to do that just right click on the top video track and insert video track insert video track insert video track and insert video track um, you only need four because it's already one up top so here we go and I'm just gonna name these so this will be um, one this second one will be let's see um, two So uh, now you want to drag in all those clips, so arm um, one, just line up with where your pointer is. So uh, it should be where this this, sec this clip here starts, your blank image. So I'm arm um, two. Sorry if there's been a few interruptions, <laughs> family's a bit noisy today. Uh, arm one, arm two, league one, league two, whoopsie, league two, three, one, there we go, and then body. So, we'll need to resize all of these now, so this could be annoying. Okay, so uh, to do this, click on the track to resize and click transform, and then just pull them down. Just pull them roughly down to the right size right now. We'll sort the exact sizings out in a sec. But right now we're just doing it rough. Gonna pull that down. There we go. And I'll pull that down. And I'll pull this one down. Cool. Now we have a bunch of random body parts. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, uh, to make these a bit more accurate, now that we can see a bit better, we'll just resize these body parts up with my actual body that you can see here. Okay, and then we'll grab the other leg and pull that down. Sorry about last episode as well, since you couldn't see my mouse pointer, it was a bit hard to follow. I made sure for this episode though that you can. So there we go. Just make it vaguely where your actual body is. I think it's working out pretty well so far. For some reason when I did the actual video, uh, the body parts weren't right. I think I cut it out from the wrong frame and something and it just didn't fit right but this seems to be fitting correctly now. There we go. So we're just gonna line up all these body parts. If you don't understand anything from this tutorial because I think I might be flying over a few things, uh, sorry about that, just comment in the, dis uh, in the comment section and I'll try and help you. Okay. So that's the good thing about being a relatively small channel, you can help people. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm clicking on the tracks, clicking transform and uh, holding control while dragging this little crosshair thing down and just drag it to where the connection of your bone would normally be, so like your shoulder. And then for this one I would put it at the where the legs are, there we go, and for the legs just pull them up to where they connect to your bum. Uh, so like that, and now if you scroll through here you'll have kind of a freeze frame of your body, you jump up and you'll be frozen. So what we want to do now is animate that, so to do this, just uh, you'll need to create a video group and put these all into one group to make them group up as like a body. So to do that right click on your top track and click insert video group, and now drag all your tracks into that video group making sure they're all the same order still. They stay in the same order. Like that. Now if you click on that top in the actual group, if you click on the video group, and you click transform and click show keyframes, uh, you will now be able to animate the body. So just drag that first circle up to where the blank frame starts, which I think is actually back a bit. So there, just drag that to my cursor. Now if I zoom in, if I click at the end of this now, at the end of the blank frame, go back one, 
Okay, now I'll be able to uh, drag my body around so I can like rotate it by putting my cursor by the corners and like flying up there or something. I can make it fall onto the ground and stuff. Uh, okay, so if I click play, now that'll animate very slowly, in fact, uh, so I'm just going to quickly select everything and pull it in. Now if I select transform for that group again, I'm going to pull that last keyframe in a lot. Click play, and that should be a bit faster. I'll just add another keyframe, make it like, go up into the sky and fall down or something. I don't know, this would be a really bad animation, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. Uh, like that, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you can select multiple of these circles and pull them closer. And then do that sort of thing. Uh, if you select this first keyframe and make it quadratic fast, it will slow down as it reaches the top and then fall down a bit. So I'll start this, select the second uh, circle and make it quadratic slow, and it'll kind of like fall like gravity kind of. Uh, not really, but you know, it's closer. <laughs> and now to make it, I'm just gonna make him a bit bigger since he's closer to the camera here. Just gonna zoom out and pull out these corners. Okay, that might be a bit too big actually, so I'm just gonna shrink that up again. Okay, so. I might select this keyframe here and bring that out a bit as well since he is going to be flying backwards. So at the moment it looks like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, and now we're going to animate each of these body parts to create the flinging around random motion that you see in like ragdoll sort of things. Like in shooting games where they add ragdoll to the game and it makes your body fly randomly. Uh, or something like that. So to do this, just select your uh, each single singular body part and click transform and show keyframes. And now if you go further into the clip and add a circle by clicking on that little white area, uh, you can rotate these now and it should animate them. As you can see my arm up here as I skip through these frames kind of animates up. If you can see that. So, if I click play now, I kind of fling up my arm and then I drop, and then it, as I hit the ground, as you can see my arm detached there a little bit though, so I'm just going to pull that back, and then as I hit the ground, I'm going to make it so that it kind of flings back down a little bit, like that. And you notice the little box that I'm dragging is slightly away from the um, so it's quite hard for me to control. That's because of we, how we did it with like groups and stuff. Sereve doesn't handle that very well and it kind of freaks out. So like that. If we play, I um, will swing up and land back down. Of course you can do this a lot better than what I'm doing now. I'm just showing you for t tutorial purposes. So, uh, this is the second arm, so what, I don't know what I'll do for this. So I'll just make it swing up or something. Like waving the hand in the air, like I just don't care. Like a boss. Okay, and then when I hit the ground, I'll make it so that I yeah do that or something. Yep, that looks good. And now if I play that, my arms will be moving. That's good. Yeah, so at the moment it looks pretty bad, but you know, <laughs> we can change that. Uh, whoops, yeah, just take something, drag the body down. Let's select the body and show keyframes. And then we can add more keyframes on here and animate that. I suggest not animating the body actually, just because you don't need to. And then we show keyframes for the league. And you can animate that however you want. Like. That. Whoopsie, that didn't actually animate. I didn't add the keyframe. Okay, so just add your keyframe. And then rotate the body part. 
however you would like or however you would please. Okay, so now uh, add your next keyframe and just drag that around and you can do that. Okay, so if you select the last body part and show keyframes, you can select the next point and do whatever you want. Just gonna drag that up there and then at the last point I will. Okay, so that should look alright now, Ooh. and yeah, so if I play that, I run into the car, and I fly up, and down, like that. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, hope it helped, uh, all the links to stuff I mentioned during the video will be in the description, uh, and yeah, so, if you have any ideas for other tutorials or stuff you want uh, me to make a tutorial about Sarif or something else like GIMP or some programs like that, uh, I'd be happy to do that. So just leave your suggestion in the description, oh, in the comments, sorry. And yeah. So, see you guys next time. And yeah.